began to a blackbird of the blackbird grimoire welcome to the daily forecast for wednesday april 17th 2024 happy mercury stay it is aries season it is the celtic tree month of willow it is mercury retrograde aries and it is a waxing moon now the details of our astrology are this uh, the sun is in aries cardinal fire representing courage moon is second quarter leo fixed fire representing enthusiasm mercury is retrograde aries cardinal fire representing fiery tempers Venus is in Aries, Cardinal Fire, representing impulsiveness. Mars is in Pisces, Mutable Water, representing curiosity. Jupiter is in Taurus, Fixed Earth, representing practicality. Saturn is in Pisces, Mutable Water, representing nostalgia. Uranus is in Taurus, Fixed Earth, representing renovation. Neptune is in Pisces, Mutable Water, representing imagination. Pluto is in Aquarius, Fixed Air, representing reformation. And for Mercury Retrograde, remember to rethink, revise, and redo. So for the waxing gibbous moon, remember to cultivate your intentions. And as it is still a Leo moon, remember to lead, perform, create, but don't get bogged down in the detail work. Don't deal with those depressing people if you don't have to, and don't go into dreary environments if they can be avoided. Now, if for this day of Mercury, and uh, we may find that the Mercury retrograde may still be a time where more than the usual amount of banana peels are appearing in our path, and avoiding slipping on those is going to be a bit tricky. So go slowly, take your time to navigate, learn to fall gracefully if it can't be avoided, because there's just something about this week. I just feel like we're going to be finding a lot of those banana peels. So deep breaths, learn to get back up, and uh, just be careful where you tread, literally and figuratively. And now a tarot card for today is the Nine of Stones, and its key word is tradition. Now, for this card, we need to cultivate reverence, uh, the, we need to seek wisdom, and we need to honor meaningful sacrifice. And the challenge to all this is avoiding engaging in rebellion for rebellion's sake. Uh, this may ruffle a few feathers here and there. Uh, but... And the thing about rebellion and wanting, and when I speak of rebellion, I'm talking about wanting to shake things up, change things. You know, we're always just bombarded with this. Oh, well, we want to change the world. We want to change this. We want to alter that. As though the change in and of itself is always good, inherently good, and can never be bad. Well, that isn't really so, is it? I mean, a lot of the things that we've been told we simply must change. It has served the pros, uh, purpose of destroying things were actually rather important, things that were meaningful, things that. Uh, binds a civilization together, things that preserve a culture, things that uh, preserve a way of life even. Uh, so if things are going to be changed and, and shaken up, if you're going to be in rebellion of something, you know, make sure it's actually in a good cause, make sure it's actually accomplishing. And it's not just about your inability to accept what is, because sometimes what is, is actually a good thing. You know, sometimes when you want to change something, well, you know, is there anything wrong with the, with the status quo? You know, look at this a little bit through a little bit more mature eyes and a little less with the uh, slogans and propaganda that we get bombarded with and see where you are after that. So today's uh, Celtic triad reads from three people, keep yourself. The joyless, the mocker, and the one who laughs at lawless doing. So the joyless, we know who they are. No sense of humor, and they drain the energy down. This isn't just someone who is having a bad day or someone who's been going through a rough time. This is just someone who makes being joyless a way of life. So, yeah, there's nothing you can do with them until they decide that, well, you know, first their behavior for being joyless has to stop being rewarded with attention. That's the only thing that might uh, possibly cause them to change a little bit. But if they're going to be like that and going to be a drain on energy, uh, don't let them uh, drain you. Uh, the mocker, people who are haters of meaning. And now I chose, I went with that interpretation uh, because it's one thing to laugh at something because it's funny or to point out something ridiculous because it is ridiculous and acknowledging the ridiculousness is actually quite healing and quite soothing. Uh, but people who just mock things that shouldn't be mocked, people who try to make something uh, without value by laughing at it, 
Uh, those are very dangerous people. And if they are wanting to mock something out of existence, I've got much better targets for them. So just uh, be mindful of that. You know, the people who are laughing and making everything a joke, what are the things they are actually joking about? And then uh, the people who laugh at lawlessness. Uh, there are people who just want to watch the world burn. And they don't care if other people are being destructive or if they're being violent or if they're uh, degrading themselves in some way. They, they don't care. It's just burn it down. Burn it all down. I will, I will dance in the fires and I will laugh maniacally. But what's left after all that? You know, just ashes. And uh, people who are who are just wanting to, the thrill of seeing something big collapse down and they don't have a plan for the future and they don't care what comes next. They just want, they just want it to have this cataclysm because it would be exciting for them. Not good people to have in your circle. Just saying. Our magical intention for today is blessings. The color is yellow. The plant is the hibiscus. The animal is the canary. And the stone is the pearl. Uh, so do you remember to appreciate your blessings? Uh, do you go out of your way to be a blessing to other people that you care about? You know, I'm not talking about being a goody two-shoes do-gooder. I'm going to go halfway around the world and help people so I don't have to take the trouble of actually looking around where I'm at and doing something more practical closer to home. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm not talking about uh, looking for accolades or anything like that. But are you, you know, what what is it that you are bringing to the world? Are you bringing good things to the world? Are you bringing just irritating things to the world? You know, what, um, essentially, what are you putting out there? Taking a good, close, long look at that. I think that can be uh, useful for us. So for today's daily practices, uh, it's Wednesday. That's a good day for divination. Uh, if you decide to do divination to uh, get some guidance on how to gain wisdom, probably be a good thing. We're going through a lot right now, and and it's like it's a testy week. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, you can honor a deity that is associated with wisdom. We have many, plenty of those to choose from. Uh, try to balance uh, your mind, your heart, and your intuition through meditation. I think it's going to be important in the not too distant future for us all to be, you know, clear headed, you know, not emotionally clogged and bogged down with things, and to have clear intuition. Uh, I just, I think we'd be better if we were you know, in our right minds right now. Uh, take a moment to express gratitude and uh, look for a good deed to do today. Again, not for the accolades, not to gain praise, but just to just to bring some goodness into the world instead of bringing something destructive to it. Our fae of the day is the Fog Fairy. And for the journal prompt, uh, beware the mist for you do not know where the mist might take you. And then uh, just reflect upon uh, how does fog make you feel when you, you know, those really foggy days, you know, what kind of atmosphere, what, what, uh, what kind of charge does that give you? What, you know, what does it make you think about? I thought that'd be an interesting point of reflection. And uh, that's what I have for you today. Day. Uh, come back tomorrow for the next edition of the Daily Forecast. Share with me in the comments what you thought of this one or email me at brigantiablackbird at protonmail.com. Uh, but that'll do it for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>